Hello everyone, my friends! First of all, again, I would like to ask you if you have any suggestions for me to play, anything you would like to see on the channel, please make sure to leave a comment down below and that way I can consider it when picking my new next champion. That's the first of all. Second of all, this game, I'm gonna play Poppy because I think Poppy became maybe not popular, even though she is picked a lot in high elo, but she people became aware of her as a champion. And that is because, you know, it was already played a little bit in the Korean server and then people played it at Worlds and overall it's a good counter to all the dashes and we have a lot of dashes in game right now. So I'm gonna block in Poppy and I'm gonna play it with Pesach, Nimbus, Cox, Serenity, Water, Walking, then we get Triumph, Tenacity. Uh, and double lady. This is the standard Poppy rune page. This is what you will use if you play Poppy. If you want to, you can try Predator as well. I think having Predator is also an option. Uh, with Predator, you can either skip the whole Sorcerer tree or you can go with, you know, you can skip Sorcerer, you can still go Tenacity because I think Tenacity is important, especially if you go Armor. And if you don't want to skip uh, Sorc tree, then you can still go like Celerity, Water Walking or maybe Nimbus Cloak. Uh, and then, you know, skip Tenacity if you really don't need Tenacity. I think in this game, I would like some Tenacity. So, I will go with you know the tenacity page. The build that I will use for Poppy with Phase Rush is going to be Sunderer. You can also go Iceborne Gauntlet if you want to be more tanky, but I like the Sunderer build. It allows you to do some extra damage. Uh, then I like to do a Deadman Plate. You can go even Stella if you want some extra damage. You can go around in Omen, you can go Force of Nature, you can go Abyssal Mask. There's really many ways of building Poppy. She's a tank with some damage so if you feel like doing damage in the game you can still go a bruiser build and if you feel like just being more and more and more tanky and faster overall i think the tank build is good and i think deadman played as an item has been forgotten a little bit but uh it fits poppy and it got buffed some time ago as well so uh, i think deadman played will be an item that we'll look forward to my skin well i will go with astronaut because i don't have the newest one but honestly poppy has so many skins i don't know why why she has many skins normally the popular champions have many skins i don't really see poppy in high low well now more than before and again something to mention before the game starts poppy is a better champion if my friends if you play against dash champions if you don't play against dash champions if you play against champions that mainly let's say ash or lulu right they don't have any dashes Singe doesn't have a dash tf doesn't have a dash yeah if there is ever a case where you pick it and they don't have any dashes you may regret it just because there's no targets for you to w and you have to play around it well i will see you in game perfect we are already in game and uh the smite of choice is blue pretty much always i don't care much about extra damage from red smite or extra tankiness uh, I just don't think it's needed. I think that she overall is better at just straight up getting, you know, Blue Smite being able to chase people down. Keep in mind with Poppy, you have to position in a way where you get the stun off, right? You want to get the stun off on your E. And to get a stun up on your E, the higher man speed you have, she has very high base man speed, as you can see. 3, 4, 5 is one of the highest in the game. Maybe there's like a 350 on some champions, but 345 is like one of the highest for sure. If you are not in position to stun people, there are champions that can combo with Poppy. For example, Vagar. Let's say Vagar uses the cage. You can push people into the cage, right? The approach when you hit level 3 is quite simple, either you either you get uh, 3 points in Q for the damage and the clear, or instead you level up your W for ganks if you feel like ganking. Okay, Ash Flash, so I think I should come. I don't have W, which is a shame because it gives me 40 man speed for 2 seconds, which is, you know, needed. I think Ash should be dead here. So yeah, Kiana is here as well. I'm still, you know, I still want to make sure that they push this. But uh, I also want to make sure that I see Kiana if she's going to grab or not. I could try to dive this. I mean, if they freeze it a little bit, I think it would be fine. Okay, I have really good gold, so I'm just gonna base. Instead of, you know, doing more camps, I'm just gonna base. I have really good gold. I also have tempo over Kiana here. Uh, so yeah, my man speed from Pazers, as you can see, is very, very useful. And... Um, I think we are gonna go with first item Phage. I think normally, if I were to base on the champion, I would not go Phage and I would go Kindle Gem because I think Kindle Gem gives you that extra CDR which helps you to clear jungle too. Uh, but in this game, it's a bit different. I don't think any. Ooh, that was close. I think though that Singe can still maybe dive with Jack, no? Wait, what? Okay, I got an assist. <laughs> Slain. 
They're just gonna get out of here. I think that's... Uh, just leave him, just leave him. He's dead. Probably going top is this game. Could go Swifties or maybe Mercs are not that bad too just because they have so much CC. I actually think Swifties might not be bad, but I have Pace Rush, so I don't think I need Swifties that much. But you know, if Ash is slowing me down, that makes it shoot, then it makes sense to go Swifties. Yeah, I'm just gonna try to de de do these two camps now at the same time. So I gain a bit of uh, pleasure. Okay, I'm 6 already. Uh, of course, my 6 not as impactful as, let's say, Kiana's. Still... Uh, Still more useful. Did not plan on taking the kill, but I will take it. <laughs> I'm still happy with it. Mm, I suppose the play she made is not bad for her. I think she might be out. Lula is here as well. Okay, that's enough. Mm. Oh no! Okay, I think Kiana will die for it. Um, but it's not perfect. Let's go with Swifties. Let's actually go with Swifties. I said I might not go Swifties, but I will actually go with Swifties and I'll try to make them work. And also Tiebult is not very friendly towards making any plays. We should have learned that by now. TF is meta every single year at Worlds. I hope Riot would nerf the champion at some point. Is that good? That doesn't look very good. My bot lane is kind of trolling. Yeah, my bot lane is definitely trolling. Um, but that, because of that, I think Rakan can maybe join me. No, the champ actually does have damage. I think the biggest problem that this champ has is her... Um, Hmm, okay, we have to run. But I like to reset it. Actually, wait, Jin is coming though. Okay, we couldn't really land the CC well enough to get a kill. I did not have my E as well when the TF was charmed. Hera is quite important and this is why people, you know, tend to contest it the, the way we, we did right now. And I also think that Ash will get Quite strong soon, so I'm not sure if playing on the bot side is the proper play. The good thing is that we have a uh, Silas who should technically uh, also scale up quite well. Kiana's ability to farm is something I can't unfortunately match with my champion. Yeah, this is the only thing I guess you um, you may you may suffer about. Your farming is really not the same as the assassin champions that they are being played right now. It's much much slower. Now, based for my Sunder, Kiana will most likely have her Eclipse as well. Okay, I think that may be... Oh. I guess that's okay. Ah! Maybe jump from Jax? Okay, not bad. I'm also very low. I can maybe try to throw a shield. No, not needed. Okay, I don't know how Arjin died. Arjin just got solo killed. That's That should be impossible. Ash used... Okay, I don't know what happened to Jin. He has both thumbs up and Ash used arrow top and Jin is dead. So Jin has to like hard troll this, but that was decent team fight. So still a hard game in front of us. Winnable, but hard. Okay, buying... Uh, they might get mid time coming. Uh, buying uh, basically a uh, Deadman plate is, is a play I want to do this game. It will give me the armor to survive uh, Kiana a little bit longer. Uh, but the most important part is that I will have on a map. I think the Silas trolled. Not sure if I did not troll as well, actually. Okay, she's trying to base, but she can't base in time, so she should die here. That's good, that's another kill on Ash, right? And Ash was the strongest team in the... Uh, the strongest member of the team. I think this time we give assist, but we try to give kill to Jax. Okay, he did not have to auto that. I mean, okay, I didn't have to Q, but really he didn't have to auto that. And also use the plant, but I don't think that chasing is the correct idea. 
And I like the idea to chase here. And we have three people chasing and two, and two people not chasing. That's the, the worst idea <laughs> when you speed up like that. The thing with Poppy is that she has low mana, but because you are a jungler, you get the mana regeneration item, which basically makes so that you don't really lose. Or like you lose mana, but you gain a lot of mana too over time. So it's not much to worry about. Ah, do I want Tormil now or do I want something like Abyssal Mask? I mean, they do have... Yeah, I think I need Force of Nature, Abyssal Mask. I just need Magic Desis. Yeah, I just might, I think. Hmm. This very awkward gold. I think I might just sell my potion. Because I want some Magic Resist, but... Yeah, it's just awkward. Hmm, this fight is not looking good. I think I might have to flash out. Doesn't really matter how many drakes do we get until the soul though. And these drakes are not that important. Yeah, sometimes it may look like you are close enough to stun someone, but you are not close enough to stun someone. It's something I have to figure out on Poppy as well. Yeah, I think we can chase this guy down with Rakan ult. Rakan is quite broken at making picks like that. Ah, I don't know how I always get these kills. I really don't try to get these kills. Oh, no. I'm also waiting for the Jax to actually start, like, dominating the side lane. He's not really taking any towers. I think it would be quite helpful if he wins side lane hard, but he's not really, like, winning that hard yet. We are making quite good picks with me and Rakan, though. Like, me and Rakan are playing both here, okay? Mm, flash for flash, I see. This guy should hopefully die. I don't think they can help him. We are keep it coming through. Okay, nice arrow, nice arrow. Okay, okay, we, we should not, we should not, we should not. No, nice, nice, nice. This is good, this is good, this is good. Rakan is making quite good picks, right? But that champ is really good at making picks too, and we are fast, so we can always follow. That's like the good thing. Okay, so at this point, I think, yeah, Tormail, Abyssal Mask, again, you know, Sterak, Stoneplate, any any of these kind of items is good on Poppy. We have three items on Jax, three items on Poppy. So I just feel like our front line is quite strong. I'm not sure what Jax is doing, but I would like to uh, not throw this game so we can, you know, end. It's very important to not get overconfident when you are winning games like that. Yeah, this is not looking great, is it? I mean, it's looking like fine, it's not, okay. Now it's not looking great at all. If this guy has no ult, I think I can go on him, otherwise I can. Mm. I don't think we are winning this, guys. I think we might have just gave up a Drake. You see, this is what happens when you get overconfident. Uh, you run it down into enemy base instead of getting all the towers, and, um, well, this is the outcome. It's not the best outcome, unfortunately. The important part there was to change CC Singe before his ult, because, you know, without his ult, he's not that strong. Okay. Um, still tanking, but... Yeah, a lot of bad things happened, and Lulu, uh, Ash are scaling really, really strongly. Oh. Ah, she flashed that. I know I didn't. This fight is looking uh, rather rough. Um, okay, this is not a bad outcome, I guess, it's one for one. I could have not that. Ah, oh, 1000 gold to Ash, maybe it's pretty bad. I gave up a lot of gold to Ash here. Oh, I thought he's gonna flush him. I wonder why he didn't do that. Like, just, just... <laughs> oh no, Rakan flash in when Jin had no bullets. <laughs> we are playing Jin, so he had no bullets left. He actually just had no bullets left. I mean, like, our Jax is also super, super scared to flash in. I think Jax could have uh, won this fight alone if he would... Uh... I mean, I, again, this guy, I don't actually know what he plays. I just know he doesn't play Jax. I think he's a one-trick pony from high elo on EU West. I 
think we don't win this because we already use all of our ults. Yeah, this game, I mean, this, these fights are quite hard now just because of how strong. Well, first of all, again, I'm really unhappy with my Jax gameplay. But second of all, I, I think that, uh, you know, enemy bot lane is, uh, is in a very powerful state now. So it's, it's just hard to team fight against them. We would need to find a good plan. Okay, not bad, not bad. You know, Ash should die now. Okay, yeah, this game is over. You know, as soon as Ash dies, that's it. They have no hope. The only hope they have is Ash. Oh, my hammer missed. My ult. Which I've maybe used a bit before. Yeah, I would like to play it slow as we should. I would like to just base now. Get items and then try to go bold and end. Maybe one person mid. I think that just makes it simpler. Okay, last item is Elixir, but it could be Warmog Armor for extra HP. Oof. <laughs> Oof. It could be Warmog Armor for extra HP. It could be Sterag again. It could be, you know, something like a Bissell Mask. And the Omen is even not bad in this case, just because they have some crit. I would like to f uh, use my ult to force them out of the tower. Okay, uh, my ult just cancelled. It's not looking perfect so far, but we can get the Ash. Okay, she flashed. She got arrowed, but hard to follow. We used the, the fourth auto from Jin to, you know, heal. I think we honestly base again. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's hard, but uh, the important part about this fight is that Ash has no flash. Now it's time to end. Now it's time to end, my friend. Hmm, this looks rather good too. Got the stun up on her and this is, you see, this is why you need the man speed. You need to always try to position yourself in a way <laughs> where you point the ash or the summon into the... Oops. Oops, guys. Yeah, <clears throat> you point the summon into the... Wait, what? Oh my god, we tried to dive them, so we are not gonna end the game, really. Please. Okay, oh my god! You know, we started diving the Nexus, I was like, please, no! <laughs> okay, good game. Um, and my account decayed, so I just advanced to Master Tier, my friends. That was my Master Tier game, okay? I, uh, I decayed from 1000 LP on EU West, and I'm still playing on high... Uh, on high elo, but uh, yeah, I need to climb back up. So it was a nice game. It was a nice poppy game. It was a nice build. Uh, they didn't have that many dashes, yet the champion worked. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and comment down below. And I'll see you next time. See ya. Bye bye.